What's going on everyone? I'm going to be doing a little gameplay video like I did with my Primal Rage video. This time I'm doing a, a, one of the worst video games ever created. It's called Hong Kong 97. I already got it up. And I'm playing it through this on this website. There's also going to be a link in the description if you want to rom the, the ROM copy for your um, emulators if you're using ZSNES or SNES 9X or any other SNES emulators you have. But I don't have the ROM so I decided to play it through here just to see what it's like. And plus this is how everyone can only play Hong Kong 97. There's no hard copies of this game. They're pretty rare. And I'm going to show you what the box art looked like for Hong Kong 97. Because this game got some stolen images, of course. And yes, the game was developed by Happy Soft in Japan. It was known that this game was known as being Kuso. And Happy Soft is a homebrew company, no, being known for their only game, Hong Kong '97. Actually, which the game was designed by a Japanese game journalist Kaloon Kurosawa which he made the game about in the week even though this game is known for being poor quality being reviewed by Wes and Larry's top 10 and on a episode of Angry Video Game Nerd via YouTube So yeah, this is your box art if there was the hard copies were around, but they're pretty rare, I was, which I heard. And this game was actually made for the Super Famicom with the disk drive for, format, which means this game was for the Super Nintendo. And we're going to look at the plot before we get into the gameplay. Which we will see it anyway. So, yeah. It's supposed to be. T t the game was released in 1995, but it's, set, well, it's actually set in the future of 1997. And the main character of the of Hong Kong '97 is Chin, which is a relative by Bruce of Bruce Lee that was hired by the Hong Kong government, represented by Chris Patton, to wipe out 1.2 billion people of China. In resurrecting the so-called dead Tung Xiaoping, which is actually Deng Xiaoping. And the game is going to have a lot of ads you'll see. And three different language options. And and this game also has no legal means to it. It says upon turning on the game you can hear the first two lines of I love Beijing Tiananmen which is like a two line loop but I'm gonna play like a short bit of it and just end up muting the music cause it's gonna get annoying and 
stuck in some people's head. And yes, this game is actually spread all over the internet. Like I said, that's the only way that everyone else can find it out. And yes, there is, there is an actual song they use, which there's going to be a link in the description as well, of the full song, which is not just the two, like the five second loop with the two lines of lyrics. So without rambling on, let's go ahead and get to this gameplay. Okay, we get three different languages. One's supposed to be Japanese simplified Chinese and good old English. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and mute that music. Because that music is going to play non-stop. That's the only th music they have in this game. It says games on it. We will sell your original SNES game. One third of the gross profit will be yours. So we will welcome games of any kind. Please send us your floppy we will contact you after careful considerations. What you mean sell somebody your their the original SNES games? Now look how they spelt SNES. You, you don't have to just put a dash. You could just just put just SNES without that dash or Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. It's going to get even more desperate, so let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the ad. Would you like to sell our products at your store? We are looking for dealers worldwide. We will heavenly discount orders for more than 50 pieces. Please ask us for more details. You really want to sell this game? How desperate these people can be. It's like a guy being thirsty over a girl. And no one cares. It's just some random number gibberish and just happy soft even though that that's the pump that's like some kind of kids company or something. I mean like kid stuff. Or happy software. Here is the glor title screen in all its glory, which got Jackie Chan and Deng Xiaoping, which Jackie Chan didn't give no permission to put itself in that game, but you'll see why. The year 1997 has arrived, a herd of fucking ugly reds are rushing from the mainland. Well, let's stop right there. Really? Did this game really have to drop the F-bomb? which they thought it was so weak to just say a herd of ugly reds are rushing from the mainland and let me ask them why in the hell did you have to use the F-bomb? Won't that make any sense? They're like, and this is actually from the 90's This is like before cursing in games was popular. Even though this was done, even though some in, some pirated games was done like this in the eighties. Even some NES games from the eighties had minor cursing, but that is like too strong to just drop the F bomb. But what do you expect from a homebrew game? Let's continue on to the next cutscene crime rate it has crime rate skyrocketed Hong Kong is ruined therefore the Hong Kong government called Bruce Lee's relative chin 
Yeah, as you see, there's a pick. There's Bruce Lee and Hong Kong Governor Chris Patton at the time, and so they hired a relative of Bruce Lee. But the, actually, the Hong Kong government hired this guy that's supposed to be a badass as Bruce Lee. Here's the next scene for the massacre of the Reds. Chin is a killer machine. Wipe out 1.2 billion of the red communists. Like what angry video game nerd said, 1.2 billion of, of China's population is the entire population of China. But actually Bruce Lee took time when he broke a lot of people's necks in those movies. But um, I know you see they use a Jackie Chan picture or Jack or still image of Jackie Chan. Actually, I didn't give no permission to Happy Soft to put his image in this game, which most likely could have caused a lawsuit behind Happy Soft's hands. And if Bruce Lee got the, it's like Chin is more powerful than Bruce Lee, so. You really think that Chin is unstoppable? You can really mess with Chin or like with angry video game nerds said, fuck with Chin. But um let's go ahead and move on to the next page. However, in mainland China there was a secret project in progress. A project to transform the deceased Peng Xiaoping into an ultimate weapon which is actually spelled Deng Xiaoping even though that's not his right name but at least he's trying to be creative I could give Happy Soft for being props and there's a reason why stores rejected this game <laughs> due to its poor quality and um, its desperateness and the use of the F-bomb even though this game didn't even have a rating, it looks like a like a arcade game. Even though it's a 2D shooter game, so this is the gameplay. You gotta shoot all of these cops and people, and they show flash images of corpse. And as you see, the background was Coca-Cola. Uh oh, we got game over. And that's actually a dead corpse from August 6th of 1992, or June 6th of 1992. It says, Chin is dead. Oh, that's too disturbing. And you gotta go through all of this gibberish and... And, if, and other than that, the backgrounds are just Chinese propaganda and stuff from like, and one of them is from the Asian Network channel. There's one of the Chinese leaders. Let's see if I can play this game without getting hit. And once you get to the boss, the game starts right over. You gotta watch out for that car. And it shows, when, when you destroy some, when you beat, after you shoot somebody, it shows that like a flashing image of a dead corpse. And if, he, if they get so close to you, the um, you get a little game over. And you're back to skipping all of this. Probably gonna do a few attempts at this game.
But yes, I have the music turned off because the music is annoying as hell, like I said. And there's some more Chinese propaganda. And yes, there's a bit of a lag because I'm playing it online and, and my computer only has like 4 gigabytes of memory and a Core 2 Duo CPU. You can tell this game is not really that great. Here we go back again. Let's not get hit by these people and these little cops in the picture and they can shoot back at you so you don't want to run into the people in the game or you'll see this disturbing image keep popping up But I'm going to make this one last attempt before I end the video. But if I get a little far, then I'll probably keep going in the video. I'm going to end it for now because I don't want to keep showing a dead corpse in the video so that was Hong Kong 97 for you I hope you guys enjoyed this horrible game and thanks for watching